Breaking news from Enugu State Internal Revenue Service. A new policy has shocked the public, dubbed the Bill for the Living and the Dead. This controversial regulation imposes a tax on families if a deceased person's body is not buried within 24 hours. What? And the fee? A daily charge of 14 naira for every day the body remains unburied. As you can imagine, this has stirred up mixed reactions. Many Enugu State residents are frustrated, calling it an unfair burden on grieving families who are already dealing and feeling the loss. You know, critics argue that taxing people in mourning is insensitive and unnecessary of the Enugu State government. While others believe this policy could help regulate proper burial practices across the state. So, what do you think about this? Ndienugu, how are you coping with all of these new taxes? And now, this one targeting both the living and the dead. Let's hear your thoughts. As this policy unfolds, the public reaction is becoming more intense and more heated. Many are questioning the timing of this move by the Enugu state government, especially given the economic challenges residents are facing already in this country. Is this really the best time to add another tax? And more so, one that targets families in mourning. And this basically means dead bodies would start paying tax. Very funny. Supporters of the policy argue that it's designed to ensure timely burials and prevent overcrowding in mortuaries. Sort of made sense, but opponents point out the emotional and financial toll it places on grieving families. For many, burial plans can be delayed due to traditional practices, family arrangements, or even financial constraints. How practical is it to expect families to bury their loved ones within 24 hours? What happens if unforeseen circumstances like long travel distances or religious customs interfere with a quick burial? There's also the broader question, should the government be imposing taxes on the deceased at all? This is something that could spark larger conversations about the role of the Enugu state in private family matters. Residents of Enugu, already burdened by existing taxes, are now facing even more challenges. The growing list of taxes for the living and now the dead has people wondering if there's any relief in sight. Do you think this new policy will encourage faster burials? Or is it just another way to squeeze out money out of already struggling families? And how does this compare to burial practices in other states? These are conversations happening currently across Enugu State. Let's keep the conversation going. Drop your comments below on how you think this new bill for the living and the dead will impact the people of Enugu State. See you in our next video.